welcome, welcome, welcome. So today, this has been a video that's been on my mind and something I am working on personally right now. And of course, you know, 2024 is just around the corner. So this video is a guide or at least a direction video on how to create a vision board effectively. You know, I've been creating vision boards years ago. Well, this is like the first year I actually created a vision board, had the plan to execute it, had it right in front of me every single day. And I'm proud to say I've accomplished at least 80% of my vision board. Like everything's done and it's an amazing feeling. So what makes this year different from the past years? I feel like we create these vision boards maybe just to be cute, to follow the trend or put things on there that may not be meaningful or making a vision board and not having a plan. You know, you have to have a plan to execute it. But I believe in looking at something every single day is very important and just having that spiritual connection with your goals and manifestation. And of course, that takes practice. So I'm just going to show you all what I did last year. And of course, I'm not going to show you guys my actual vision board. This is just going to be like, you know, an example of somebody of a, a woman in her 20s making a vision board. So step number one is honestly, people don't really think about it. Um, don't show your vision boards to everybody. I know like you may see on TikTok or even YouTube or any social media outlet, people, you know, filming themselves, making their vision board, having vision board parties. That's cute and all, but I really truly believe keeping it to yourself. Like nobody should see it at all because I am big on energy and you don't know who's preying on your downfall. It could be the closest people to you. And I've experienced that this year. So nobody should see your vision board. Like keep your goals silent. Like your vision board is your goals. So people like view that, you know, there's people voting for you, but I promise you there's people, people voting against you. you. Like you just don't want any negativity or any negative spirits for that. Okay. And then step number two, I would suggest, like, of course, writing your goals down. So get a notebook, writing your goals down for 2024, just to get, like, an idea of what you want to do. And then step number three, we're actually going to, you know, open my laptop. I'm just going to give you a guide on how to create one. It really doesn't take that long, and it's fun. I suggest doing your vision board in a relaxed moment, like maybe after work in a weekend, sitting on the couch in your bed having a nice glass of wine or eating your favorite meal, favorite drink, because this is a time to unwind or really think. And you want the setting to be quiet. You know, this is your time to really reflect and do what you really want. Like it's not supposed to be rushed. And that's just something like I would suggest, you know, I feel like that's just like environment is everything when you do special things like that. Like this is your baby, you know, so we're about to open this laptop. Okay. There we go. So y'all should be able to see my screen. This is my laptop. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to Canva. Canva is free. I do pay the little um Canva premium because I use Canva a lot, like every single day technically, or a lot out of the week. So I like the extra features it has. But Canva is a design tool. You can do anything on here. Um, I get my YouTube thumbnails from here. I make posters for page treats on here. Like I do a lot and I just love it so much. Like this is one of my favorite um, websites when it comes to creating in general. Like if you have a business, anything like even your job. Like I remember using Canva when I was working at the Boys and Girls Club, um, just creating the, you know, marketing portion of it. But Besides that, what you're going to go to is, of course, Canva. Um, you can type in like vision board and they'll give you a template. But I like to start off blank, but I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like. So, of course, here, boom. They give you a template already. So you can delete these pictures, maybe you can keep some, hey. Um, but I love it. Like, it's just done for you. So if you want to do the template, go ahead. Um, but there's also a form where you can do the link. I think you guys want to see. So to do the blank version, just go to create design and you can just do a doc. 
Okay. Um, and then when you add in the photos, you just go to uploads. This is from like my vision board, not my vision board, um, my vlog yesterday. So you should be able just to add the picture in there and then you just make it smaller. So that's how y'all do that. And of course you can add the photos. We should all know how to do that. You know, if you get a photo from Pinterest, you can save it to your device and then you can just add it on here. Okay, so boom, Canva, a great tool. I recommend using it. Of course, you can use like Word document, um, anything where you can just paste photos. So Word, docu Word document, Microsoft, maybe even PowerPoint. Um, but I just like Canva personally. So then we're going to go to, you can either, so I suggest using Pinterest because I, like Pinterest gives you like so many ideas, but you can go to Google. I got a lot of my photos from Google last year. So if you want to go to Google, you can type in travel, like you want to travel more and then you have your images and boom, like, you know, you have the airplane to represent travel. Vision boards, I really suggest being specific. Like you put an airplane, you don't know where you're traveling to. That could be anywhere. But if you put like Paris, then you specifically want to go to Paris. Like that's what your mind is set on. And you know, and when you're broad with your goals and desires, God's going to give you broad things, you know? But if you're specific and detailed of what you want, he's going to, like, it's just going to be more specifically intertwined to you, if that makes sense. Um, but boom, like, you can get your photos, paste it there, go to your Canva. And boom, real easy. But that's just the Google. Now we're gonna go to Pinterest, which is one of my favorites. Um, and let's say one of your goals is to get your own apartment, okay? And when I did this on my vision board, I got this specific apartment layout. Um, and put it on my vision board. So like whatever apartment you're really looking at, try to find a layout that's, you know, correlating to what you really want. So you can go ahead and download the image. And honestly, I really suggest getting all your images first. Okay, getting all your images first. So apartment, let's say you wanna be more fit. And I honestly believe also like when you like when you're on Pinterest, you see, you know, these models and um, women who may look like you. So you want to ask yourself, what type of woman do you want to be? What woman do I relate to the most, even when it comes to physical appearance? So I would get a picture of maybe like someone who looks like me <laughs> and post it there because I could see myself you know, with this nice body or with this fit body and it just becomes more real. Um, healthy eating. And this is where the notes come in. Like definitely like write down what you want because it just makes it easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some photos here for reference. So I want to be more healthy in 2024. This is just examples. I want to be more fit. So I'm going to find me a, a girl who just, you know, is fit so you get that motivation. Um, what else? Let's do finances. That's a big one. Do, do, do. Depending on what route you want to go, do you want to save more? Do you want to learn more about investing? Um, I know there's one that said like debt free. You want to read more about investing, so let's put that there. Managing money. Let's get that um, 850 credit score. And Pinterest is so easy. I just love Pinterest. I feel like you just get more options. Okay. So you're just going to keep going until you get like all the images you want. And take your time, of course, like definitely take your time. Like you should be relaxed when you're doing this. Um, 
love like so what's your love life you want to be in 2024 do you want to do a Lori Harvey like you know your standards you're confident within yourself you can drop them at any moment like who you like who do you want to be like Lori Harvey is a person who I admire like she's in you know she's in her 20s she's dating she's like she's really like a woman who I aspire to be and I feel like she sets the standard for women because she's not afraid to like know her worth you know a lot of women settle in relationships and she just shows like if he, he's not what I want then he's not what I want and we're gonna move on and it's okay to date like it is okay to date freely but yeah relationships if you want to like an example of the type of relationship you want um I'm not really big on celebrities like getting like too far into the celebrities like life and everything because at the end of the day we really don't know these people um but i would just you know put a picture of that if that's like a goal in 2024 now when it comes to like really really influ influential celebrities i um i'm big on putting like maybe a picture of them on your vision board because like when i when i view myself on who i really want to be i don't know if you know her not who I want to be, but someone who I really admire um, is Grace Byers. I love her so much. Just because she's an amazing actress. I feel like she's very versatile. She works with a lot of nonprofit organizations. Um, she wrote children's books. Like She does a lot of things outside of her like main career, which is acting. And it's not like I don't want to be just like her. I just admire her work ethic. I want her work ethic, basically. So it's like, who do you admire? Like, who? Like, who do you admire? It's not just about what they look like, but what are they actually doing? You know, and this could be anybody. It don't only gotta be a celebrity. It could be somebody, your friend, your family member, somebody who you look up to maybe on social media. Like, there's some genuine content creators out there, but who do you see yourself as or like would want to even be like be friends with? Because, if, you know, they, they should set the bar high. Um, but yeah, I love her so much. Like, y'all should look into her. She does, like, a lot of, you know, community work. Um, okay, so it's like, you know, just go through this. Have as many pictures as you want, and then you're going to go back to Canva. So I'm going to go to the template again, because I think I picked the wrong type of blank board. Um, so... What we're gonna do is customize this template and boom. So I like how like the template say the stickers. And I kinda already have it for you. So you just go ahead and click on do it, click on delete it. And you can see a little bit of my vision board on my lock screen. Okay, y'all can see a little bit of it. <laughs> um so boom, it's gonna just go bigger. All right, if that place is, you know, that's where your mind is set on, we wanna put the place front forward. And the way you do it, so to like make sure that like the picture's above the words, you just click more. And da, 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 da. no, wait, hold on. And yeah, layer of. I think that's the right thing. Bring it to the front. There we go. So you just click the little three dots layer and then just bring the front, which it already did. If we want to bring it backwards, um, you can bring it backwards. Okay. Oh, I like the smiley face they have because we're going to be happy in 2024. So if you want to move the smiley face forward, more layer. Bring it forward, okay? Bring it here. Okay, we can keep this stretch across. So let's, I would, I would recommend using a template first. It's a little bit easier. Um, boom, we want to be fit in 2024. And we want to budget better. 
tighten the lower back ribs. I try not to do it a couple times. There we go. Hold your spine. Boom. And then what else? You want to try one more. Just want to bring this backwards more layers. Front to back. Okay, and you just want to keep going just till like it looks pretty and to your standards. Like we're going to focus on maybe finding somebody, like not finding somebody, attracting somebody. Okay, we're going to attract who we want. Um, what else? We're going to eat healthy. And like I said, this is just the basics. Okay, example only and sometimes if it's relatable like fitness and health go within each other i like to put um the pictures by each other too okay and you can also you know go to elements and search up like maybe some stickers that align with what you want so I'm trying to think. Do, do, do. Let's say you want to, if you're into content or want to record more or want to do something that involves like a camera, you can take a picture of a camera. Okay. Just to fill in these spaces. Um, what else? Maybe you want to read. Let's take a picture of a book. Maybe you want to read more in 2024. Make that smaller. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Okay. Training. So it's like a simple vision board, okay? And then what you're going to do is, you're going to click share, download, okay? And then it saves to your device and you can send it to yourself on your phone. Um, and then, you know, you can make it your wallpaper and I really suggest making your wallpaper, maybe put it on your fridge. Um, but let me know, you know, if this helped in the comments, I know like people may know the generals of making a vision board, but like, this is something like really important to me. I, I believe in them. I feel like vision boards are so important and you can change it throughout the year too. Not like, too long ago in the middle of the year, because there's some things I wanted to accomplish like halfway in the year. That's like, I mean, kind of the same from my original vision board, but like there were some things like I wanted to accomplish. So I made a new one and, um, you know, it's just a good feeling. So you can always change it up, but yes, Canva, Pinterest, Google, anything like write it down and just put it all together and just make it pretty, make it yours. Um, make it, personalized to you your vision board don't gotta be like anybody else's vision board this is your goals or your dreams do not show anybody your vision board do not discuss it like keep everything to yourself until it's done okay keep everything to yourself until it's done sorry for the list i got my retainer in but i hope you guys loved it because i am in the process of making my own vision board and i'm excited so i will see y'all in my next video i love y'all